Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the UI designing side of our shopping cart. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, I am currently on the home page of our eShop. To access the shopping cart, we can click on this icon here. Alright, this is the view of our shopping cart. On top of this page, you can see our typical eShop header section like this. Then by the bottom of this page, you can see our typical footer section like this. Then below the header section, you can see kind of a breadcrumb design like this. People can use this to easily go back to our home page. Then below that you can see our page title as cart. Then right next to it we added a cart icon like this. Then below this horizontal line we can see a search bar like this. We can use this search bar to search inside our shopping cart. There's a placeholder inside of it as search in cart. Then right next to the search bar we can see our search button like this. To start the searching process, we have to click on this. Then this section is waving products inside of our cart. Then this part is showing seller of the specific product. Then this is the title of the product. Then we can see color and the condition of the product here like this. This place shows price of a product unit. This place shows quantity of that product inside the cart. Then this place shows delivery charges for this specific product. Then this place shows requested total for this specific order. Then this section shows cart summary. This place shows number of total items in the cart. This place shows total price of them. Then this place shows total shipping charges. Then this place is showing cart total including shipping charges. Then finally we can see our shopping cart checkout button here like this. Alright, let's check out the responsiveness of this page to various display resolutions. In this case, we are only focusing on the larger and smaller display resolutions. So this is the view that we are getting on a larger display resolution. Okay, now I am going to decrease the display resolution virtually. Alright, now this is the view that we are getting on a smaller display resolution. As you can see, now it has a more compact structure to fit on that smaller display resolution. That's all about it, so let's inspect codes of our design. So now I'm going to VS Code as you can see. I'm currently viewing card.php file as you can see. To keep this running in the state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside of it. First inside these head tags I am linking bootstrap.css then bootstrap icons.css then our own style.css file. Then by the bottom of these body tags I am linking bootstrap.bundle.js file and our own script.js file. Then as usual inside of this PHP script, I am including our footer section.php file like this. Then inside of this PHP script, I am including our header part.php file like this. These are holes of that breadcrumb design of our page. 
Then these are horns of our page title. We are using a bootstrap icon with our title like this. Then we are adding a horizontal line here like this. This is the input field of our search bar. We've added a placeholder to it like this. Then these are codes of our search button. Then we are adding a horizontal line here like this. Then these codes are creating the empty view of our shopping cart. When the cart is empty, it is showing a text as you have no items in the cart yet. That view is also showing a button as start shopping. Clicking on that will take us to the home page of our eShop. When the cart is not empty, we are showing products inside of it like this. These codes are creating that view. Then these codes are creating the cart summary showing section. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.